Hey there, second grade. How's everybody doing today? And welcome back to another remote learning math lesson with Mr. Renzi. So today we're going to take a look at our doubles facts of addition. And once we find the answers to some of our doubles facts, we're going to see if the answers are even or odd. And then we're going to take a look at some even and odd numbers as we play a game called Even and Odds. Now, for today's video lesson, you are going to need two things, your whiteboard and your dry erase marker. So go ahead and get that as I shrink myself into the corner. All right, so today you are going to be doing Grade 2, Lesson 2.9, even numbers and equal add ends and you will need a whiteboard and a marker so remember you can hit that pause button on the video at any time in case you need to go and find that whiteboard and marker so we are going to start with a little warm-up and our warm-up is going to involve equal add ends now that's an important vocabulary word that we need to know if we want to be a really good mathematician. So let's take a look at what it means. Well, the word equal means the same. And add ends are the numbers that we add together. So equal add ends are the same numbers that we add together. Well, that's the doubles facts of addition. Let's take a look. 2 plus 2 equals 4. Equal add ends. The numbers 2 and 2 are the same. And they are add ends because they're the numbers we add together. So when we talk about equal add ends, we're talking about our doubles facts of addition. All right, so here's where you need your whiteboard. I want you to write your doubles facts on your whiteboard. Not only do I want your equal add ends, but I want your answer too. So it might look something like this. I like to go in order. Zero plus zero equals zero. And then the next one I'm going to write 1 plus 1 equals 2. And then I'm going to go in order again. 2 plus 2 equals, I'm going to put my answer, 4. And you're going to keep going until you get to 10 plus 10. All right, my, first, my second grade mathematicians, go ahead and hit the pause button. And on your whiteboard, Write down all of those doubles facts of addition, starting with 0 plus 0 and ending with 10 plus 10. Go ahead and hit pause as you write down the doubles facts of addition. All right, let's see how you did. You should have your doubles facts. 0 plus 0, all the way up to 10 plus 10 on your whiteboard. I want to take a look at our answers, our sums. Look at this. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Look at all of the answers to the doubles facts of addition. Tell me what you might notice. What are all of those numbers? Well, hopefully you noticed that all of those numbers are either even or odd. And the neat thing about it is that these numbers are all even. So the sums to our doubles facts of addition always gives us an even number. So it doesn't matter if we're adding two odd numbers, like 1 plus 1. We get an 
even number. And if we're adding two even numbers, like two plus two, we still get an even number. That's pretty amazing. Let me draw a picture and show you. If I had one plus one, one plus one, it makes a pair. So we know it's an even number. If I had two plus two, every dot has a pair. So we know that two is an even number. We've also learned that our even numbers end in certain digits. Look what these numbers end in. Zero, two, four, six, eight, zero, two, four, six, eight, zero, and it keeps repeating. This is called our ones place. The ones place is the last number. Comes at the very end. And even numbers always end in the same digits. Either a zero, a two, a four, a six, or an eight. That's what makes our even numbers. Great! I just made a rhyme. You may remember this ice cream poster that I like to look at all the time. The ice cream poster has all of my even and odd numbers. Do you notice that the even numbers are 0, 2, 4, 6, 8? Who do we appreciate? And our odd numbers end in 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. And it doesn't matter how long the number is. I could take a number like this, 172. And we will be able to tell whether it's even or odd just by looking at the last number, the number in the ones place. Because my number is a two, I know that it must be even. Wow, such a really neat concept in mathematics. Today, we're going to be playing a little game. Let's play some even and odds. I'm going to show you how this game works. You're going to need your whiteboard to write down some stuff, so you might want to clear it. The first way we play this game is we pick a card. So my card that I picked is the number four. Go ahead and write the number four on your whiteboard. Now, the first thing that we have to do is think. Is the number four even or odd? Now, if you remember our little saying, zero, two, four, six, eight, who do we appreciate? Then you'll be able to tell whether the number is even or odd. And if you remember our ice cream chart, when we looked at all of our different ice cream cones and scoops, we saw that the even numbers ended in zero, two, four, six, or eight. So we chose the number four. And the number four fits in my even column. So on our whiteboard, we're going to write even. Four is even. Now I can also use some dots if I'm not sure. One, two, three, four. I made pairs. And even numbers always end in pairs with a dance partner. There's never one just left all alone. They're always in groups of two. Now there's one other thing we have to do in this game. If the number is even, we need to write a fact with equal addends, with the number picked as the answer. So that means the number four is our answer. But we have to come up with the two numbers that we can add together that equals four. Oh, and by the way, they must be equal addends. 
So it must be a doubles fact that equals four. Who thinks they know? Go ahead and write it on your whiteboard. Hmm. One plus one doesn't equal four. Five plus five doesn't equal four. Did you write down two plus two? Two plus two equals four. And four was the number that we picked. Awesome job. All right, go ahead and clear your whiteboard because this time, I'm going to pick a different number. So this time, I'm going to pick the number, let's see, 5. So the first thing we want to do is write down that number 5. Is 5 even or odd? Well, it's not zero, two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Even numbers, even numbers. Boy, I didn't say five in my little poem. Let me check my ice cream cone. Five. Oh, there it is. Odd. Let me draw a picture just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five. Groups of two, group of two, and one left over. So the number five is odd. Now it says, if odd, write a doubles fact that gets you really close to the number picked. So our number was five. We want to name a doubles fact that gets us really close to five. That means we want to see if we can come up with a doubles fact that equals four or it equals six. See if you can write down some doubles facts that will equal four and six. So if I want to equal 4, 2 plus 2. And if I wanted to equal 6, 3 plus 3. Notice to equal 5, I would have to do 2 plus 3. That's called doubles plus one more. Here's my doubles fact. And then I had to add one more to get five. For this one, where I equaled six, if I did three plus two, this would be doubles minus one in order to go from the six to the five. Awesome job. Let's try another round. We're going to be picking that card, so go ahead and clear that whiteboard so we can see what our card is going to be. The number nine. Number nine is our card. Is nine even or odd? Well, I'm going to go ahead and use the picture. I'm going to draw nine dots. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then I'm going to make groups of two. Two, 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 two. Huh. one left over. What does it mean if we have one left over? Well, that means our number is odd. Let's see, if odd, write a doubles fact that gets you real close to the number picked. Hmm, well, our number is nine. So we have to come up with a doubles fact that's gonna get us really close. That doubles fact is gonna get us to eight, 
or that doubles fact is going to get us to 10. See if you can come up with some doubles facts on your whiteboard. One that equals 8 and one that equals 10. Did you come up with 4 plus 4 equals 8? They have equal addends. Did you come up with 5 plus 5 for 10? Again, we have equal addends. To equal the number 9, I can't use equal addends. I would have to do 4 plus 5. This would be doubles plus 1, because I had to add one more to get from 8 to 9. And if I did 5 plus 4 equals 9, this time I had to do doubles minus 1 in order to get from 10 to 9. Awesome job! All right, my second grade mathematicians, today we looked at numbers that were equal addends, all of our doubles facts of addition. And then we played the even and odds game, where we picked a number, had to decide whether it was even or odd, and then we wrote some number models, some that were had equal addends and some that didn't. You're going to have a seesaw activity that's going to allow you to practice some more about even and odd numbers. I can't wait to see how smart you are. Go ahead and get started. We'll see you real soon.